We've made it a bit of a ways now. We're about a thousand yards from where we um, started walking. We've got another probably three to four hundred yards until uh, we get to our blind. But it's hot as heck. This mud is thick. So uh, we're making it there, but slowly but surely because it's, this mud is thick and it's hard to walk through. So we're going to try to get to the blind, cool off a little bit, and hope for some luck. We arrived to the blind, um, moved it around a little bit, sat in there for about 20 minutes, um, uh, but the blind just wasn't working out for us. The beans have grown up so too much where we can't really see out the window to get a good steady shot. So I think we're just going to ditch the blind, move down this uh, wood line here a little bit, get a little bit closer to the corn and hopefully find a good area where we can sit down and uh, hopefully uh, kill something by dark. Well guys, it's day two here. We're set up in the same spot that we got set up at the end of last night. Um, I don't know if y'all seen it or not because it was super dark, but right before we were fixing to leave, we seen the buck that I think we're after, so that's a good sign. Um, hopefully he'll show up again tonight and hopefully show up a little bit earlier so we can get a good shot at him and uh, hopefully get him a video and some good shooting light. But uh, we are got set up here. Um, uh, it's about, what, 4.30? And... Uh, we got about three hours left, so uh, three or four. So we're just going to sit here, relax, and hope he comes out tonight. Day three here. We just got set up back in the same spot we've been. Um, last night we didn't have no luck, but there was deer shortly after we left there. Um, uh, so this is the third night. Hopefully the third day is the charm, and hopefully he'll step out tonight. And we can get a crack at him. So uh, uh, weather and wind's good. So uh, hopefully. It
Tell us about it. Tell us about it. Talk to us. Talk. Well, we had two does come in. Uh, a doe and a fawn slight like 10 minutes before. Uh, we watched them come in and um, uh, they kept staring off to the left in the beans fields that we couldn't really see because there's a big branch of woods right here that we can't see through. And they kept looking over us like, there's got to be a deer over there, and it's coming. So I kept pointing their ears and looking really hard. And, and then all of a sudden, I'm looking over there, and I just see a big rack ra raise out of the, the CRP and beans, and I'm just going nuts. So I sit down, and I, I, I pray, and then I start breathing, and my camera guy don't even know that I've seen him yet. And I'm just sitting there, taking it all in and trying to calm my heart down. And I finally tell him, dude, that, that, that deer's over there at like 300 yards. So I start creeping over here to get ready. And he just starts jogging in there, making sure he's boss and scaring all the does off. And he started eating corn. I gave him about a solid five to 10 minutes to set in and turn perfectly broadside and I smoked him. And he ran like 70 yards and piled up, I'm pretty sure. in front of you. Keep going, blood. Oh my god! Oh my god! That is a giant. Hold him up! Oh, made it. That's a, yeah, that's a 200 inch white tail, buddy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's dead. All right, let me see. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. That's an absolute giant, Weston. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, brother. Holy smokes. Put your hands around me. What, what are you feeling like? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. How many How many points does he have? 16 or 17 scoreable points. Dang! 17? What's that? He said he's 200 plus. Dang! Brother, gosh, Weston. And you got a bunch of good footage? Yeah, we got it all. Yeah. Man, that's unreal, kid. Anybody deserves it, it's you, buddy. Man. Congratulations, buddy. I love you, buddy. Well, it was day three today. Um, uh, the first couple of days, I think the first day we actually seen this buck, he came into the corn just about 10 minutes after shooting light, so uh, we didn't, couldn't get good footage of him, and uh, of course it wasn't shooting light, so we couldn't get a shot at him. So uh, the first day, we just seen him once, and then that was the only deer we seen. And then the second day, we didn't have no luck, we didn't see nothing, um, uh, but it's still a beautiful sit. And then uh, we still had high hopes because he was coming in there pretty frequently, so uh, we still had high hopes and stayed, stayed on it and uh, kept, uh, kept hunting that same spot. And uh, luckily on the third day, he stepped out in plenty of daylight with a couple other does. And uh, we, got, we got to get a good shot at him on good camera light and everything. But uh, yeah, it's just one great hunt. Super blessed to be holding this deer right now and uh, just stay persistent and uh, stay on it. And hopefully it will turn out like this. Well guys, we came down here to Kansas with high hopes um, and uh, luckily we got to uh, connect with these two giants down here. We came down here, um, I was going to originally hunt the buck that I killed and Micah was actually going to hunt a different buck at a different spot. Um, it was a big wide 10 point and uh, he ended up not showing up as much as he was before my um, season. So we ended up making a switch on him and he was going to hunt a different deer. But that spot, unfortunately, got flooded out. They had, from Hurricane Ida, all the rain pushed down here and just flooded everything. So that was another problem. And then he finally got on another big deer, and luckily he showed up and Mike got the shot. So this is the deer here that uh, I harvest and I was hunting 
There's him back in July. Parker kept an eye on him last year. He actually passed that buck last year at what he said was like 150. So that deer put on like 50 inches in one year. Just great genetics down here. This is where we're hunting. This is a bean field now. Um, uh, there's where we were hunting. We were hunting on that little point right there. That The corn was right here. That deer actually walked out from out here exactly how we thought he would and how uh, we wanted him. Walked out to the corn, bumped the does off, and luckily we got a shot at him and put him down. As we're down here, this is actually my dad's business. Um, as most of y'all know, Whitetail Heaven Outfitter is one of the biggest deer destinations in the world. Um, he just expanded it out here to Kansas, and we came out here to show us what, what it's all about. Um, uh, had two big bucks hit the ground in three days um, out of just me and Micah and had a lot of other youth hunters be very successful. So uh, I would highly recommend y'all come out here and give Kansas a try and uh, come home with Whitetail Heaven and Outfitter. Nobody does what we do.